Hey, today I'm replacing the sink cabinet floor, moved into this new house, and if you look down here, that thing is pretty rotted out, so let's get started in a second. Alright, so before we get started, let's go ahead and gather up some tools, like a saw, hammer, measuring tape, an oscillating tool, a level, and some foam. And also, be nice, like before you start, you want to go ahead and grab a screwdriver and you go ahead and remove those cabinet doors. Or you could use a drill, either way. Just going to take one side off. And then move over to the other. Now to take your oscillating tool, you just want to go ahead and wedge that like in between the side wall and the bottom of that base and just push it on in there. We're going to go ahead and cut out that, that bottom starting from the side if you can get a better angle right here. And you're just going to want to work your way on both sides like if you can see on the back side of mine earlier like it was already collapsed in, you can tell there was no support back there, so like I only needed to go ahead and do the sides of mine. Now I'll go ahead and try to try to lift it up just to see where it was at. Notice that I needed to go ahead and take a little bit more out. So just kind of test and see where it's more weak at. It's nice to go ahead and unplug, make sure early just go ahead and unplug the garbage disposal or anything else that you have plugged in down there and move the rest of the hoses. Right here I had to cut it so just be careful because it's getting a little close to the water line but just gonna make sure to be super careful. And then once everything got loose I was able to go pry that up. Make sure everything's clear. Now let's go ahead and take some measurements. So for the yellow, blue, orange, and green, that's just going to be for your actual base. this video is helpful, please like and comment below. Make sure to subscribe too.